literally this big. Like, honestly, that looks way bigger than it is in real life anyways. But if I try to put my hair in a bun, this is my messy bun. I swear, it's all an illusion. Look. So, if I twist my hair. <laughs> I can't even put a scrunchie in my hair because if I do, the scrunchie just falls out. So, here's my bun. <laughs> oh, the least I could do is friggin' dye it. And I use box color because, first of all, I'm not spending $200 to, I have never in my life, I don't think ever, spent money to pay someone to dye my hair black. No, I have used box color for 40, how old am I? I'm 40. I can't believe I'm 40. So I've used box color for like 25 years at least. And I don't even use fancy box color. I use like the $10 box. This is Garnier Nutrice. Honestly, usually I use a $7 box of nice and easy because it works. I just got to get these little grays to not be gray anymore. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and I thought I would say hi to you guys. I told myself if I found my correct brush i'd hop on here and say hi and answer questions and see what y'all are doing is this the right thing color cream twist off cap remove pink ring then discard twist on cap until the seal breaks completely okay let's follow directions twist off cap remove pink ring then discard okay got it let's put it in the trash box uh, twist on cap until the seal breaks completely. Cap. Y'all, did y'all see Cadillac Bar in Fort Worth is burning down right now? Holy cow. Okay. Twist on. I think it broke. Twist off cap, then discard. Begin mixing. Okay. It worked. I don't usually use this. I use usually, I usually use... Um, nice and easy. It's like pour the liquid into the bottle, shake it up, wait till it turns black and put it on your head. But this is what we're going to do because I had this under the cabinet and it saved me a trip to Walmart, to be honest. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you have highlights, of course, go to a stylist. If you want balayage, definitely don't take my advice because did y'all see what happened a couple of years ago in 2015 when I burned off like 11 inches of my hair because... I thought because Jesse James Decker had a video on YouTube of her doing it herself. That definitely meant I could. No, sis. And then I put my hair in foils. And then I decided to blow dry it. Which then made my hair fall out. My outfit. Super cute. A little bit too big. But I've already worn it. So I'm not going to trade it in for the medium. This is the large. It's a romper. It's on my website. It comes in like five colors. Use code LOVE to get you a discount. So I'm debating if I'm going to... Try to learn how to sew in. Like, I know I could do tape-ins myself, but you can always see tape-ins on my head, and I don't want to be that ratchet girl with the tape-ins on the side of her head. Let me see if I'm missing any steps since this isn't my huge. I really am thinking, like, maybe I could do it myself. Mix and prep. Twist off. I did all that. Uh, Open the bottle. Okay, hold on. C. Snap and pour fruit oil and peel into the cream developer bottle. Oh. Okay, see? The other one, uh, nice and easy, doesn't have this fancy little fruit oil. Y'all, I've eaten my way through this weekend. See, this is what I mean my hands don't work, but I have a handy dandy pair of scissors here, so we'll just use them. Okay, see? I tried to pick it up just now, fell out of my hands. That's the only thing that worries me about this install your own extension thing. Um, I don't know what fruit oil this is or what it's for, but I'm following instructions. It smells like ammonia. Okay. So, I don't know. Do we think I can do my own extension? And if I do it, I want to show you. Also, I got this stuff that like lifts your eyelashes. I want to try it on one eye by myself and not on camera because we saw how the lashes went when I tried to do that on the camera. And then if it works, I want to show y'all. Actually, even if it doesn't work, I still want to show y'all. It's called Lux something. I bought the kit a couple weeks ago. Black hair coming right up. So, let's 
see what we can do. Do we think I can do it myself? I mean, I know dyeing my hair is fine, but <sighs> this is all I got. Like, this is how long my real hair is and how thin it is. And like I said, my ponytail is literally this big. Like, if I put a ponytail on top of my head, I've had extensions for... So before I did, before I burned off all my hair, I, I used clip-ins all the time. So that's my entire ponytail, which honestly looks way bigger on camera than it does in real life. I'm thankful for that. But it's just this tiny little bundle right here. So, but I am thinking maybe with a couple more TikTok videos, I would be able to figure out how to do my extensions myself. I'm sure I could do it if somebody was helping me, but the goal is to see if I can do it by myself. So we're probably gonna try it, I'm not gonna lie. And if I can't, then okay, I have an appointment on the 17th. If I can, well then I just saved 450 bucks, right? So it's a win-win either way, I feel like. I don't know, we'll see. In the meantime, box color, if your hair is black, it's the best way to go, I'm telling you. Only if your hair is black though. Wouldn't recommend it if you're a blonde. Wouldn't recommend it if you're honestly any other color. I like that because I usually splatter this everywhere. So when I dye my roots, this is what I do. Super easy. It's like icing on a cake, literally. I don't mean like, I mean like physically it's like icing. <laughs> you just put it places. And then I pat it all down to my head. And I usually put like Vaseline or something around the corners of my head to keep it from getting all over my scalp. And I usually always do it on Saturday nights. So if I do go somewhere with a bunch of black on my head, it's usually to church on Sunday and no one seems to care or say anything. Thank you, Jesus, for that. No pun intended. So I don't know if I really can do my own extensions. And I know I can do tape-ins, but I don't like tape-ins because I feel like they rip my hair out because my hair's already super thin in real life. And look, see, you're just like icing a cake, literally. That's the key right there. Don't touch your forehead. But also I like using box hair on my for on my head too because it dyes my scalp a little bit and since my hair, look, it looks like I have a toupee. Um, <laughs> since my hair is so thin, like I can use that little extra color on my scalp, you know what I mean? I feel like I have a shit ton of grays though, all around the front. And like they say that your gray hair is supposed to grow in thicker. Mine is not, so why did you skip over me, hair fairy? No, not nice. But anyways, I think I'm going to order a little tool on Amazon. <sighs> Shit. And try to sew my hair in myself this week. We'll see. I got the hair, and that's really the most expensive part. You got to pay for the hair first, and you use it for like, I always use my hair for like a year, no joke. I don't know how long they say you're supposed to be able to use it. Also, I saw on TikTok they have this DIY extension kit and it's tape ins, but it's like a long tape. And like, I don't want to do that because I split my hair a bunch and I put my hair up in ponytail and all this stuff. And I envision that I'm going to do all these videos on TikTok that I find with my hair and even though I don't. So I don't want to use that stuff. It's like you lay the tape down on your head and then you put your hair over it and then you lay your hair down again and it's supposed to like be a DIY method, but it says it lasts three to six weeks but on their website it says it lasts up to four weeks so i don't know what the real time is but i imagine if they're going to use the word three weeks then that probably means less than three weeks and i ain't trying to have that shit fall out plus it's like 300 bucks so what's the difference i'd rather just go have somebody tie my hair back in the most expensive part of hand tied wefts or machine or whatever you call it natural beaded rows or invisible bead method is the installation but every time you go, it's like 400 something dollars. And like this last time, my top row came literally like three fourths off. My second row came a third off. And I don't know why. Oh, see, it's already dying my hair, my head black. Um, I don't know why, but it's super frustrating. So, you know, you just gotta think like, you wanna, you wanna try it yourself one time? You know, maybe. I don't know. We will try it for sure. I'm definitely going to get this on my ears. That never fails. I should have put Vaseline on top of my ears before I started this, but I didn't. So we're definitely going to have some black ears tomorrow. And I have to warm my hair up because obviously this is all the hair I have and you cannot go in public with, like, what am I going to do with my hair? They're like, oh, hey guys. Like, look, <laughs> it's like 17 different lengths. And the longest piece is like halfway down my back, but no other piece is that long. It's literally like a single strand in the middle. It's awful. Uh... So, I don't know. 
But I might try it just to see if I could. And it'd be cool to show y'all like, hey, guess what? We can't do it ourselves. Let's go to a pro. But if I can do it, it'd be pretty damn awesome to show you that I can, right? I think so too. So I don't know. I feel like there's not, a, especially if I can find this little bead kit that I already bought a couple months ago. Forgot even why I got it. Maybe when I was wearing wigs, I bought it. I don't remember. But but then I think a couple of weeks, or I bought it a couple, several months ago. But then I think a couple of weeks ago when I was cleaning out one of the rooms, I might have thrown this stuff away. I usually don't throw away like really usable stuff. I give it away and I don't know anybody I would have gave it to. So I can't really remember if I still have it or not. I'm telling you this though. If I find it tonight in my guest room or in my front office room, that's my sign from Jesus. I'm taking it upon myself to tell myself that is my sign. I need to try to put those extensions in myself and see what happens. Definitely getting this on my forehead. For sure. So, if you are a hairstylist and you want to remind me I cannot do it, I'm here to listen. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be able to see the back. That does kind of worry me. Like, how am I going to be able to see to, uh, I don't know. Don't they have mirrors for all that? I got a bunch of mirrors in this house. I should be able to figure it out, right? No? Oh, okay. Here we go. Telling you boxed hair dye if your hair's black, it's the way to go, sis. That's all you do. It's all you do. Lindsay Latrell, where you at? Tell me I can't do this. Ugh. Aren't you a hairstylist, Lindsay? Are you on the video right now? Thank y'all for all the nice messages. Thank y'all for people who ordered tonight. Oh my God, I hit my goal. I didn't tell anybody I had a goal and I did. Then I logged in a minute ago and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is awesome. Maybe I still know, do know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, is this gonna be a blue black? I hope not. We're about to see, huh? Okay, I've literally only used half the bottle so far and that's like my whole head. So we will keep going. But I don't know, it would be kind of cool to see if I can do it. I really want to try that lash thing. It's a lash lift kit. It's like 35 bucks, TikTok got me. Maybe Instagram, I don't know. But I bought it and I told myself I was gonna try it and show you guys whether it works or not. And hopefully I don't go blind in the process because it's gonna be really hard to pick out outfits. My text messages are going nuts if I can't see. So, I don't know. But I really do want to try the hair extension thing. How hard could it be? Probably really hard, huh? I think it's just really hard to, be, to do it in the back. Because you can't really see. But if I got the right mirror, and I know I could do it if my friends helped me, but I just don't want them to because I want to see if I can do it myself. Also, I think it would be really awesome if I could do it myself. Like, game over. I could be bumping my hair up by myself all the time. And I'm real bougie about it. Like, I like to get my hair bumped up every four weeks, and that's real expensive. So, if I could do it myself. I called Lena today, and I was asking her about all these different methods and stuff, and asking her, like, what was the difference? Because she's, like, the hair god. She's going to school right now to become a nurse. She's going to open, like, a med spa eventually, which is where I'll get all my Botox. But she still has a little way to go. And she always leads me the right way. I didn't tell her about my maybe plans, too. <laughs> She'd probably be like, Becca, last time you tried to do your own hair, you called me at 3 o'clock in the morning and begged for me to put extensions in. And that was in 2015. So she probably thinks it would be that idea, I'm sure. Oh, look at that. Whole head, look. This is all my hair. Nobody's telling me if they think I can do it or not. I need to know. What's your opinion? Think I can do it or think it's going to be a complete disaster? Also, am I getting all them grays over there? This really does look like a blue-black. I hope it's not because that's not what I wanted. It says it's called peppercorn. Usually I use blackest black by nice and easy. Okay, all you little gray babies need to go away. I wouldn't even mind gray if it grew in thick, but it doesn't. It's like the same shit. It's still skinny hair. Listen, Anne, I appreciate you. She said, I know there's no way I could do it, but you're a go-getter. <laughs> Kim, I don't know. You really think I could? 
Like, I know I could if y'all were over here helping, but I just want to know if I could do it for myself. Oh, I use the whole bottle, too, even if I don't need it. I think most people probably don't. Also, it always comes off my cabinet. If you have marble cabinets, which I do not now, do not do this. In my old house, I never, ever, ever dyed my hair on my own hair in the sink without putting a bunch of towels. Oops. Uh, because it definitely will stain your marble, but it will not stain whatever the cheap shit I have in this little red house is. I would get so confused looking in the mirror. So all you do is like, all you do, you separate your hair off and then you slide this little bead up and then you put the weft under your hair and over your hair. But I may try it for the first time just doing it on top, which won't necessarily make it invisible bead, but I went without the invisible bead method for a long time. Oh, it's going to dye my ear black. I got to get that off my ear. Okay, hands, spirit fingers, Whew. made a mess, child. Okay. Get off my ear. Yes, it's gonna stain my towel. No, I did not think about that before. I just did this. Okay, definitely gonna be a little black on my ear tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> you seeing me at church tomorrow with black on my ears mind your business okay i'm resourceful shit now i can't even get that off because i have a spray tan so it's gonna be what it's gonna be anyways so maybe i'm gonna dye my hair i mean i'm definitely gonna dye my hair maybe i'm going to try to do my hair extensions myself this week maybe it will be a huge flop <laughs> guess i'll just have to see <laughs> why must that be so difficult i don't know but i really do want to try so i'm going to i just have to figure out how do i section it in the back i really want to figure out how to put the the invisible bead part where you put the weft on the bottom first you bead your hair all the way around and then you put the weft on the bottom and then I got to figure out, do you sew it at the bottom or do you put it on the top and then sew them together? I think you put it on the bottom, clip it in after you have the beads in and then you put it on, put another weft on the top and then you sew them together like that. So I've been trying to like practice earlier. We'll see. But I ordered some handy dandy little pliers from Amazon. Needle nose, not like the big ass pliers I've been using. All right, I won't be able to leave this on. All over instructions. Mm-hmm. Um, leave on for 20 minutes. Okay. So say it's been on there for five. So we'll take it off at midnight. Leave color on regrowth for 20 minutes and work through links and ends and leave on for five more minutes. Well, I did it all over and we're leaving it for 20 minutes. Worst comes to worst, my hair needs a haircut anyways. Also, how do you get a haircut when you have no hair? <laughs> like, what are you going to cut off? <laughs> Those couple little pieces at the very bottom. Oh, look at all this dye on my hand. Dang it. Shoot. Look. See my wrist? Oh, it's kind of coming off. Put some soap on here and see what happens. Ew, that definitely is not the color it's supposed to be of the soap. No one is scrubbed too hard because it just got a spray tan. Ah, there goes my spray tan on my wrist. Okay. Smelled a little bit like Sweet Grace and a little bit like Why the Hell is It Yellow? That's what just happened. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. So I have to rinse the spray tan off. I was going to rinse it off in the morning, but now i got to rinse it off tonight because... <laughs> Look at this. It's like extra freckles. Now I gotta rinse it off tonight because I'm dyeing my hair. And I didn't want to start earlier because I didn't want to miss my kid coming home from work and then we don't get to chat about his day. And I love chatting about his little day at work. He loves his little job. Huh, it is kind of coming off. That's good. Hopefully it doesn't come out of my hair that much. See my fat back? How it like humps over? Oh. Anyways, so the goal is to see if I can... Do my exchanges myself because I cannot go three, two, three weeks without any kind of hair in my head. I can't walk around like this, obviously. 
and I can't get in any sooner. So I might just give it a go and see what happens. And then, oh, it doesn't smell horrible. And then let y'all know in the process. I think it might be kind of fun. What do you think? Or it could be a complete ass disaster. Um, Y'all, I got suckered at the nail place the other day into buying this little, you know, the clear stuff, but it has little flowers. God, it smells so good. And now I cannot find it anywhere. But I have to put this stuff on my nails all the time because I'm constantly taking pictures with jewelry. I need my cuticles to look like a Russian manicure, but I don't know who does a Russian manicure around these parts. But I know it looks so good on TikTok. You ever see the Russian manicure where like their nail beds are just like perfect? God, so good. This is called solar oil. And it's just like little cuticle oil that you put on your cuticles. I have eaten my way through this house in McMuffins. I've mastered bacon and the fried egg. And this is what I do. I try to keep my hands really lotioned up too, but it just doesn't help. Like I just have crinkly old lady hands and they're even more old lady-ish looking on the internet. Like I don't feel like they look horrible in real life, but on the internet, on the camera, they definitely look like wrinkly and haggard. Um, is there, is anybody you know in Fort Worth in the stockyards right now? Because Cadillac's burning down and it's literally burning down everything around it. Filthy McNasty's, Thirsty Armadillo, everything's right around there. And I called Melissa because she works at Basement Bar. She said she was okay. That was like 10, 10 and she had just got to work and she said she was safe. Their uh, basement bar is like at the corner on the other street where Cadillac's is and Cadillac's is burning to the ground right now. Like it is a lot. It is a massive fire. So. If you know anybody that's in Fort Worth right now, call them and make sure they're okay. And if you want to go to the stockyards tonight, I would say it's probably not the best night to go. <sighs> Let's see if my butt looks tan. Does it? My butt look tan? Got a spray tan today. The lady's like, I took off the last two months because you haven't come in and tan. I'm like, thanks. It's so nice of you. I didn't ask her to. It was so nice. See, looks better. Also, I'm obsessed.